Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today I got another tutorial. I wasn't too sure if I really wanted to do this because I think this style is unique to this one person, uh, but I figured there's probably a lot of people that would like to try this style on their Instagram feed. So I figured why not, let's just do it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Casey McPerry has probably one of the most unique and insane Instagram feeds that I've ever seen. I don't know if he's the first person that has done this before, but basically his feed flows like, look at this, it just keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going and it just flows so well. Now what makes Casey's feed unique and different from everybody else is that all he needs to do is upload one photo and his feed still flows. He doesn't need to upload three like some people do. Uh, he could just upload one, two, three, no matter what it is, it's still gonna flow. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. All you're gonna need is Photoshop and a bunch of photos to create this collage. So let's get started. All right, here we go. So I'm in Adobe Photoshop CS3. If you have something newer, this is gonna be better for you, but uh, I'm stuck with CS3 for now. So we're gonna go to File and then New, and you wanna use these settings here for the resolution. So the width is gonna be 4320, and the height is 3240. Now this is essential. This is uh, very uh, important. So 4320, the reason why is because each image in Photoshop is 1080 by 1080. Um, so what we're doing here is 1080 times four, and that's gonna give us that number. And then 1080 times three is gonna give us that number. And uh, just click okay. So now we have this box uh, sort of, and we wanna set up some grid lines in here so that we can see uh, where how the feed is gonna line up. So first thing we're gonna do is go to view, and we're gonna make sure that we have extras enabled. And then you wanna make sure you have rulers enabled. So now I got the ruler at the top and you can see it goes from zero to 60, and then this side goes from zero to 45, I believe. Yes, 45. Okay, so let's set up some grid lines. So if you have something newer than CS3, this is gonna be a little different, but um, what I'm gonna do here is go to new guide, and I'm gonna add some vertical, uh, some vertical lines here. So I'm gonna add one at the zero point, so that one added here. I'm gonna go to a new guide, and I'm gonna make it 15 and the reason why I'm doing that is because 60 divided by 4 uh, will give you 15 so we're gonna do 0 15 and then 30 then 45 and then 60 so let me add some more here make this 45 and uh, I screwed up already but not really uh, so 30 and then go to view new guide and make this 60. So now we have all the grid lines on the vertical axis. Now we're gonna make some on the horizontal. So again, zero, I'm gonna go to view again, uh, make this horizontal and then 15, and then horizontal 30, and then 45. Okay, so obviously the first thing we notice here is that you know, an Instagram feed, you have three photos across and three photos, uh, you know, and then it just keeps going on the vertical. Uh, but usually, you know, on Instagram, you only have three across and you'll see later why I have that fourth section here uh, because this is his trick. This is what he did. He, he actually, uh, I'll talk about it later. So let's get started. So now the next step is to start importing your photos and then putting in, you know, different things. I'm going to kind of skip ahead here i already kind of put something together so i could show you what it looks like so let me show you that all right so here's what i came up with i got a few images that i just kind of randomly put together you know we have some intersections here so this photo kind of intersects with this this one with this and just make it as you know as cool as you want or you make it as however you want to do it uh but just make sure you don't cross into the fourth section over here on this side. So those are the three images across and three images down below. Um, so let's get to the next part. So what you wanna do is just uh, on your layer section here, right click and then click flatten image. So now we have basically one whole image right here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the uh, selection tool here and what you wanna do is go to this image and then do a control C and then control V. So we're just duplicating that. And we're gonna put that right here. So this is his trick. This is what he does when he uh, 
This is what allows him to upload one photo at a time. And now the next thing we're gonna do is go to the selection tool and again, click the background and we're gonna bring, uh, copy this image. So control C, control V, and that's duplicated and we're gonna move that right here. So you see how that lines up. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna add another image here to fill that up and intersect with this image and a little bit with this. So I'm gonna import two more photos and put it into this. So these are my two photos. I'm gonna take this one, copy it and put it here. And I'm gonna take this photo, control A, control C, and then paste it into here. So uh, let's work with this one. I'm gonna do control T and make the image smaller. You can also just go to edit and then free transform. Uh, I just want to make this small for now and I'm going to click this apply and go to the underwater underwater photo and make that smaller as well. And that's going to set apply. Let's minimize this and make this big. So I got this photo here and what I'm going to do is uh, let's see, let's do control T rotate it a bit and see if we can make this work. You know what? I won't rotate this one. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Bring it back to this and put it here and then click apply. And I'm gonna bring that to the foreground. So it's gonna go just like that. And then what I'm gonna do with uh, this image here, I'm gonna kind of let it intersect with these two images down below. So make it a little smaller and maybe rotate it a little bit and maybe a little smaller. And if you wanted to, you can uh, take the eraser tool, zoom in a little bit and maybe blend it out like this. So not trying to be perfect here, just doing a little something, something. And I'm also gonna do the same on this one. Uh, one thing I'm realizing now though, is that I didn't overlap this into this other image like this. Let's go to the eraser tool. Fix that up a bit. I need to fill up this space, so um, what can I do? I'll just make myself bigger, so I'll do Control T and do something like this, just to fill it out. Not the best, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it right now. So at this point, we're pretty much done and we're ready to export this, uh, but one more step, we're gonna go to this slice tool and we're gonna uh, select slices from guides. So now each one of these images are actually cut and now we can go to file and go to save for web and devices. If you are on a newer version of Adobe Photoshop, then you would go to export and it'll be under there. Uh, but I'm gonna select this, click yes, and then just wait a second till this is done. All right, so the next thing is to choose PNG 24 and then you can click save and then you wanna make sure you have images only and then make sure under slices you have all slices selected. I create a folder called feed and I'm gonna click save and we'll go check that out. So here are the photos. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 photos. This one is, it just doesn't matter. Uh, so you notice we have two here that are the same and these two that are, are the same and we're gonna get rid of the one that doesn't have the car in it. So we don't need that one. And I'm gonna get rid of the one that doesn't have the blue fade and bam. So now you would take these photos and upload them to Instagram, starting with this, then this, 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 and that. And let me show you what it looks like in this Instagram feed preview app. All right, so this is the app, it's called Preview. I'll have a link down in the description if you wanna get it. Hit the plus icon, go to photo video, and I'm gonna bring that first photo in. So that's the first photo, uh, maybe later. Okay, plus photo video, let's do the next one. So you don't actually have to go in order, you can rearrange it later, so you could already see that, you know, that's already matching up. We'll just put this, uh, so cool. So the first three are already lined up. So here's the thing, so now we're gonna add the fourth photo, and if you were to do this any different way, then it won't flow. But since we added that fourth section, it's actually gonna flow. So the next one is this, and you see that my head lines up with that, and this matches this. So let's add the next one. I think this, 
nice and now the last one which is this so check that out pretty cool and that's all there really is to it. It's not that complicated. It just takes some time and patience to get it right. But I feel like you get really creative with making a Instagram collage using this technique. I kind of want to do it. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, I'm just not sure if I really, really want to upload something like this on my Instagram, but it does seem pretty cool. So I might try it out at some point. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give me a like. That definitely helps me out a lot. Any other comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you want to get that app that I was using in this video, I'll have the links down in the description. And that's it. I'll check you out in my next video. Bye.